Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news investors are upbeat, positioning that the economic threats will mostly be diffused. First up today, a look at US corporate earnings that are being reported. So far, second quarter earnings on the S&P 500 are down sharply from the same period a year ago, but both the number of companies reporting positive earnings surprises and the magnitude of those surprises are above their 10-year averages. So as these earnings are reporting builds, more results that are better than expected are coming through. This is helping keep Wall Street equity trading in an upbeat mood. And Warren Buffett's company is one of those and has reported record results. But the threat from commercial real estate revaluations keeps on building and has the potential to rock Wall Street at some point. American consumers are facing sharply lower inflation now. It came in at 3% in June and will get the July rate on Friday New Zealand time. Analysts expect that to inch up to only 3.3% then. And American consumers are taking out modestly more consumer debt. The growth of this has been restrained for some time, but it rose $18 billion in June, up 4.3%. These balances have been rising at less than 2% recently. Prior to 2023, rises of about $30 billion a month were normal and rises of about 5% year on year. Across the Pacific, China said its foreign exchange reserves rose to $3.2 trillion in July, although the change was minor. It was more about the exchange rate than anything else. Foreign direct investment is tumbling there, so their foreign exchange reserves may now be at a high point. Moving on to Europe, although we earlier noted a heady rise in factory orders in Germany in June, German industrial production hasn't responded yet. In fact, it came in lower than expected, slipping in 1.5% from May and down 1.7% from June a year ago. Globally, air cargo demand fell by 3.4% year-on-year in June, but that was the smallest decline since February 2022. Year, year to date, this cargo activity is down 8.1% below last year's level. And the US Treasury 10-year yield will start today at 4.08% and up 4 basis points from yesterday. And the price of gold will start today at $1,936 an ounce and down $7. And oil prices are down a dollar at just on $81.50 a barrel in the US, while international Brent price is $85.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today marginally softer at just on 61 US cents. Against the Aussie, we're unchanged at 92.9 Australian cents. And against the euro, we're firmish at 55.5 euro cents. That all means the trade weighted index is held basically steady at 69.5 and up a mere 10 basis points in a day. Get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow.